Season's greetings from Super Fresh Growers. I hope that you had a wonderful holiday season with your family and friends. This time of year uh, here in Eastern Washington, it's cold and it's white. And here we had a very white Christmas. It was a pleasure. This time of year, we look back at the fruit we produced this past season and look at the shortcomings. We look at the, the target fruit that we want to produce for size and color and quality and we look at what we can do to improve that going forward for this next year. One of the things that we look at first in the winter is pruning and tree structure. When I was young, trees were huge old dinosaurs and they were ginormous trees that might have limbs that were uh, bigger than a foot in diameter. It took a creative imagination to shape those trees to produce excellent fruit. People did it, but it took even uh, 15 to 20 years sometimes to grow that tree to fill the space. And that was a long process, and we invested a lot of money to get to that point. Now, things are a lot more expensive, and we're trying to be very intentional about how we develop these systems. So young trees now, when we build a new orchard, we put them closer together, we put them on structures, they're shorter, they're closer to the ground, we need less ladder work. We're designing them to take advantage of automation and robotics and to give our workers a much safer place and a, a better environment for them to work in. It takes less creativity, but a lot more science to make that happen. Also, in that process, we're trying to recapture our investment dollars a lot sooner in the picture so that we're getting to full production maybe within the first five to six years instead of waiting 15 to 20. That's a real help for the bottom line. So we're making plans, we're doing new developments, we're doing prep, and Parker's gonna speak to you about those things now. Like Dave was mentioning, the ideal orchard that we look to restart is one that has dinosaur trees on it. It's a very inefficient orchard, it's wide tree spacing, it's hard to work with, and it's just not competitive in today's uh, new orchards. The first step of this restart process is first deciding what we wanna plant. Right now in the industry, there's a lot of different opportunities out there for new orchards. We have uh, Cosmic Chris, the Autumn Glory, and other specialty varieties that are now coming into the market. Next is we start to get our hands dirty. Uh, we have to start with the tree removal process and that, that takes a little bit of time and from there we move on to our soil prep which is ripping, disking, fumigating and any soil amendments we find necessary. After that, what you see behind us is posts in the ground with no trees. And this is different than the traditional method that we have been using in the past. In the past, we used a tree planter behind a tractor and came through and planted all the trees and then built the trellis system after the trees are planted. This next year, we're gonna build the trellis system first and come back and hand plant the trees individually. And from behind us, what you can see is a 32 foot section in between posts and there with a biax tree, which is two primary leaders coming up from one root, we can plant eight trees in each section. To contrast the eight trees that can fit in that 32 foot section, the dinosaur trees Dave was talking about, we may only fit one or two trees of that size in that space. So it's quite the step up from where we used to be to what we can do now. Currently, the systems we're planting right now are state of the art for our industry. But this industry is rapidly changing and new technologies are being presented each year. And you never know, maybe in 10 years, Dave will be standing out in front of these trees and be calling them dinosaurs too. Thanks for watching. Make sure to follow us on social media. Have a happy new year.